Okay, let's talk about an easy way to solve this system here. And if you're watching this video, obviously, I'm going to assume that you're studying systems in some sort of math class, probably some sort of algebra class like pre-algebra, algebra 1, algebra 2, college algebra, intermediate algebra, so many different algebras. Algebra is such a great topic. And systems of equations, okay, is a big part of learning algebra. So it's a very, very important skill. And... Um, uh, I could really talk you know, at length about systems, but we're going to just focus here on how to solve, easily solve this particular system. Okay, before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over the last many, many years, I've constructed several, several online math courses. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to my math help, my full math course uh, program in the description of this video. Also, um, something new that I have is some math notes. So if you want to pick up a set of pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, or algebra 2, trig notes, uh, go ahead and just look beneath uh, this video, and in the description you'll find a link to those, and uh, that's a nice reference um, for whatever math class you're taking. Okay, so uh, easy way to solve this system. Now, let's kind of get to it here. Here is our system, okay? So we have options here, okay? Let's just quickly, quickly review uh, what a system is, okay? So... Again, big topic, but let's just get some basics down. So here, this is what, we talk, what we're talking about here is a linear system, okay? A system, okay, where we have two variables, an X and a Y and an X and a Y, okay? So this is what one looks like. And if you're studying this, so you're like, oh, yeah, this is a system. they got these brackets here like this. And the objective is to solve for X and Y, okay? But really what this represents is you can kind of think of this as one line, Okay, let's call that line one. And this is another line, okay, line two. So this is like a linear, uh, that's where the word a linear system comes in play. And the objective to solve a linear system, actually just go down here real quick, is to find where these two lines intersect, okay? So we, let's say line one is like right here, and line two goes this way, okay? Where these two points intersect, okay, let's say it's right here, whatever point that is, let's say that is like the point 3, 4, okay, which is a particular x, y coordinate, right? This uh, point of intersection represents the solution to that system, okay? So if I um, actually went and graphed this line, and then I graph this line. I can literally just look to see where they <laughs> intersect and be like, oh, that's the solution. So the graphing method is actually a technique that you uh, should have learned in class. Of course, you would want to have graph paper, and you got to be super accurate uh, the way you draw um, you know, these lines and, you know, et cetera. But the graphing method, you need to understand uh, as just conceptually that that's one technique you can use to solve systems of equations, okay? So let's go and erase this here. So what are our options? Okay, well, you, again, you can solve this by graphing, which is not a good way, right? It's good to like illustrate the principles of learning about systems, but it's not a real practical way to solve systems. And then we have our trusty worthy friends, the substitution method, okay? And then the we call the linear combination method or the elimination method. It goes by a couple different names. So really these two here are going to be our mainstays. And then depending on where you're at in your uh, math adventures, okay, in more advanced math, you can even use things like a matrix, okay, matrices uh, to solve um, uh, systems, okay, something through what we call Kramer's rule, et cetera. Okay, this is more like at the algebra two college algebra level. All right, so we do have some options on how to solve systems. We're not going to do this, okay? That's a little bit more advanced. So really, we're going to take a look at substitution and linear combination methods. You need to know both of these. Some, some of you out there are like, oh, I'm really good with the substitution method, and I use that all the time to solve my systems because I really don't like this other method. It confuses me. And then some of you are like, I like the elimination method, and I don't like the substitution method. I'm telling you right now, as a math teacher, of several several years okay 
Um, you need to know both methods. You need to be comfortable with both methods because you need to evaluate your options when you look at a system, okay? Because you want to always take the easiest path uh, to solve. Okay, so with that being said, uh, I don't know if you had a chance to try this problem, but maybe you want to pause the video and see what route you want to take to solve uh, this particular system and see if you can solve it. Okay, so what's the easiest way to solve the system? Obviously, now I'm going to solve this. The easiest way to solve this system, and I kind of made it apparent, is look here. I got this negative Y and I got this positive Y. I'm not going to turn this video into a complete tutorial on the combination method or substitution method. It would just take too long. I do have um, on my channel, I got other tutorials on that topic. And of course, if you uh, uh, check out my math learning program, uh, my courses, you can I do them all, my complete instruction there, see tons of uh, lessons and examples, etc. But anyways, um, I'm kind of assuming that you already kind of know uh, those um, techniques, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the linear combination or the elimination method. It's the easiest way to solve this particular system. So um, let's just look at the word linear combination. It's like mm, it's like how do you make a sandwich, right? Where you got like peanut butter and jelly, and we're going to combine them and we're going to squish them together. Boop 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 boop. Okay, we're combining two ingredients. Well, the linear combination is we're going to combine this equation and we're going to squish it with this equation and we're going to eliminate a variable in doing so. Okay, so let's see how this works. All right, so we're going to add down. We can add, we, or this is allowed when we're uh, solving systems. Okay, you can add, you can add two equations, you can add the equations in the system uh, to create new equations. Now, you just don't want to be adding any old random equations together to get a new equation if it's not going to serve a purpose. But here, check it out. If we do this, it's going to definitely serve a purpose for us because we go 2x plus 3x is what? That's 5x, obviously. And negative y plus y is, you said it, 0. Okay? And then we have 5 plus 10, which is 15. So by combining these two equations together, I'm left with this nice, simple uh, remaining equation. Okay, so 5x equals 15, okay, is an equation. It's another form of the, of the equations that are going on in the system. But my objective here is to solve for x and solve for y. So when you're solving systems, you have to solve for one variable first, okay, and then you have to go get the other variable. So here... Check this out. I mean, I'm like, I got this nice equation here, 5x equals 15. All I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 5, and I get x is equal to 3. And yay, I'm happy. That was so easy. I'm like, wow, okay, I'm halfway there. So I got x is equal to 3. I was able to do that super easy. Now I'm halfway home. x is equal to 3. Let's put this up here. x is equal to 3. Now, at this point, all I have to do is just pick one equation or the other to solve for y, okay? Let's go ahead and pick this equation. I could have picked the other one. All we're going to do is say, okay, 3x plus y is equal to 10. I'm going to substitute in the 3 for x, okay? So that's going to look like this, 3 times 3. Actually, I can give myself some more room here, okay? 3 times 3, right? Because I already know x is equal to 3, so I'm not going to write 3x. I'm going to replace that with 3. Plus y is equal to 10. So that's going to be 9 plus y is equal to 10. Subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. And I get y is equal to 1. y is equal to 1. And I am done. Okay, so the solution to this system, remember you're going to always organize it as an x, y point, okay? So x, then y, so my x was 3 and my y was 1. So that is the solution to this system, okay? 3, 1. All right, now let's say, well, are you sure that's it? Well, let's go ahead and just check here real quick, okay? Let's just make sure. We'll take one of the equations. We'll take 2x, 2x minus y equals 5, and let's plug in these values, um, x is 3 and y is 1, into this equation. Let's just make sure it checks. So we get 2 times x is 3, right? And y is 1, so I'm just substituting x and y values, 
uh, for here for x and y. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is, of course, 5, and 5 equals 5. That's a true statement. So that means that these solutions are good. Okay, so I know that was a lot of fun. I know you love algebra, and it's like your favorite topic. And uh, anyways, some of you out there are probably like ready to throw your computer, like, oh my goodness, I, what are you talking about? Da, 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 da. Listen, if you're taking math, <laughs> you got to learn this stuff, right? Uh, and even if you don't like math, you still got to learn it. You got to do well. So, um, you know, the, the more you learn and the more you study, you know, these different techniques, especially when it comes to systems, the better tools you'll have to solve systems efficiently, okay? You, uh, and believe me, you, there, there's like, um, you know, uh, long ways to do math problems. You know, that's why there, you, you know, oftentimes when it comes to solving equations, you have various techniques. And the more, you know, the more problems you do correctly, the better off you'll be able to see the most direct way to the solution. All right, so hopefully this video helped you out on systems. Of course, uh, much, much more on this particular topic. But um, anyways, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Again, if you want to check out my math learning program, I'll leave the link uh, in the description of this video and a set of math notes. You can find that down there or just right underneath this video. But uh, with that being said, thank you for your time and have a great day.